with Omicron on the rise, presumed to be responsible for about 13 percent of the reported cases here in New Jersey, Moderna announced today that its booster is highly effective against the new variant, significantly raising the antibodies to fight it off. But Omicron transmits at a faster rate than Delta, and even if symptoms are more mild, healthcare systems are already seeing their numbers climb, and they could soon be overwhelmed if the new variant takes over. So what does this all mean for life as we know it? Is New Jersey staring down another shutdown? Or have the vaccinated been able to stave off the severity of these spikes? Raven Santana takes a look at the latest. The one thing we cannot allow to happen uh, is our health care system's capacities to be overrun. Even as the recent COVID numbers continue to increase at a concerning speed, Governor Murphy still remains unwilling to follow in New York's footsteps and require an indoor mask mandate until hospitals start to reach capacity. Indirect tragedies of folks be refusing to get vaccinated is they're the ones getting sick and hospitalized and it's putting enormous pressure on healthcare staffing. As I watch everything playing out, as it feels like March 2020 all over again, uh, in that we're preparing for this huge wave to hit us. And so what's going on right now is I think pretty clear. We have vast spread of the disease through Omicron. We have ongoing Delta, which is you know highly, highly virulent. And we're seeing every number go in the wrong direction, which is we see increase in infections, we see increase in hospitalizations, we see increase in deaths. Rutgers Dean Dr. Perry Halkita says enacting a requirement for vaccine proof for indoor dining like New York City mandates should be a way to prevent a surge, not control it after it happens. No vaccine, no entry. When, when we stop having people cigarettes smoking, you know, in restaurants, people thought no, no one's gonna go to restaurants anymore. That didn't happen. In New York City, people are going to restaurants and they have to show their vaccination cards. So I don't understand why we cannot impose the same rule here in New Jersey. I don't want to go to any of our dozens, hundreds of wonderful restaurants to enjoy a wonderful meal only to find out five days later that even though I'm triply vaxxed, somebody in the room wasn't and obviously spread um, one of these variants to me. I don't want to get sick. It's that simple. Jennifer Moses says she's no longer willing to dine indoors here in New Jersey as she feels the state's tolerance for public health interventions is shrinking. Because we don't have vax passes in New Jersey, there is no guarantee that our fellow diners have taken precautions against carrying this horrific Virus. We got concerned and just thought the type of restaurant that we have and that we have a very small staff and it's tight. We said, let's let's just have a vaccine mandate. Ruth Peretti and her husband own Ruthie's Barbecue and Pizza. The family restaurant located in Montclair is popular with kids who attend schools nearby. That's why Peretti, who lives on top of the business, decided to put a vaccine mandate in place of her own. And those that give pushback and don't want to show a card or, or some can be a little belligerent, then we're just like, you're not welcome back here. You know, that's not this is this is our home and we want you to be comfortable here and everyone. But this this is how we choose to do it. That has not been the majority by any shape or form. I think people actually have been quite proud to show their vaccine cards and uh, and they get it. While there is still a lot to learn about the Omicron variant, a new study has shed light on how the variant mutates and spreads. And it appears that Omicron is is highly transmissible and is also able to evade um, antibodies which were generated by prior infection or vaccination and even therapeutic antibodies, for example, the Regeneron cocktail of antibodies. Sagar Curry is an associate professor at Rutgers Department of Chemistry and Chemical Biology and corresponding author of the study. Curry says the more lines of defense you have, the better chance you have at not contracting the Omicron virus. Uh, based on the science, it's very clear that everyone should be taking a booster if, if they are eligible and, and um, you know, if they can, uh, because that is one of the key uh, things that we can do to protect ourselves against Omicron and our loved ones. In the meantime, Newark Mayor Roz Baraka isn't waiting for the governor to make a move. Due to rising numbers, he's issuing an executive order that all residents and visitors must wear a mask at all times while indoors at any public facility in the city. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Raven Santana.